Jalen, you guys have always taken pride in being a prideful team, but it seemed like there was some quit out there uh, tonight. What happened and what, where's, when, when did the disconnection happen? It just seems like you guys are not on the same page chemistry-wise with the coach, schemes, all the above. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Uh, it's obvious, obvious letdown. I feel like we let our fan base, organization down. We let ourselves down, and it was collective. We can point fingers, um, but in reality, it was just embarrassing. Uh, Jalen Joe Mazzulla says that uh, you guys lost your defensive identity. Uh, do you agree with that? Um, and if so, where do you think that that started? When did that disconnect started? I'm not sure. Um, give credit to the Miami Heat, man. You know, those guys are playing unbelievable right now. Um, and we just seem to couldn't get stops. You know, those guys are hitting shots and playing well, playing with confidence. And we allowed them to have that. Jalen, what will it take from you and Tatum and even a veteran like Al to get the team ready? What can you say or do on and off the court to get them ready for game four? Uh, we just got to come out and play basketball. Um, come out with a great mentality. Come out and have some pride about yourself. Come out and have some pride about, you know, who you plan for. You know, have some pride about whatever and just come out and, and, and play basketball. Um, I believe we can win the next one. So we just got to come out and play. Jalen, uh, when you guys have had defensive success in the past, you've everyone's been able to just go make the play and trust that the person behind them is going to continue to fill the chain. So do you feel like you guys have kind of lost that trust and that confidence that it's going to be whatever you do, someone behind you is going to help you do the job? Uh, our defense hasn't been, you know, especially what it was last year, but we've had tremendous strides in, in different directions, and, and we've been able to, you know, find ways to win basketball games. I don't think that was the issue here. Yeah, we we struggled to get stops, but to their credit, they, they, they're playing well above their means. They're, they're balling right now, and I got to give them respect. Gabe Vincent, Martin, Struess, Duncan Robinson, you know, guys that we should be able to keep under control are, are playing their ass off. And you had a play earlier in the game where there was some sort of action brewing. It wasn't really working, so you just turned and fired like a 35-footer, and it just seemed throughout the game that you guys would just kind of take the first shot that could come to you. So what do you think is missing that allowed you guys, especially earlier in the year, to be able to turn a defense and create open looks? Uh, I think last year, you know, uh, last year is over. I don't know. Um, we just find we just couldn't get stops tonight. J Jalen, with uh, with us, Joe kind of put the loss on himself. He said he didn't have you guys ready to play. What's your response to hearing that? I think it's a collective effort. Jalen, are you guys thinking too much, feeling too much pressure, and putting too much pressure on yourselves? I don't think so. I think we've been here before. Um, I don't know. You guys have often been at your best when your backs are against the walls and you're fighting off elimination or whatever. Um, tonight, wh why did you think that slipped away? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I think Miami played extremely well. Um, they made shots. We didn't make shots that put pressure on us. And it was just tough after that. You know, they, they're coming out. They were together. Um, they physical. You know, they set the tone. And and we, we didn't match the energy, you know. And it was a complete letdown, to be frank, you know. 
Uh, Jalen, starting with Ime's dismissal and all of what you've been through this season as a team, is this kind of thing mentally just coming to a head where it just you see the ending and it just seems like you guys are kind of just maybe throwing in the towel or just not don't quite have the energy to finish this run? I don't think so. I, I will hope not. You know, I don't. That's not what I'm about. Um, I'm going to fight to the end. So we're going to try to get our guys ready for the next game. And we come out and we put our best foot forward. And at the end of the day, that's what that's what we got to do. And that's just how I see it. Um, series isn't over yet. It's looking bad, but you know, you come out, have some pride about yourself, and 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 put your best foot forward. Presented by your New England Ford dealers, built for America, built Ford proud.